want to dedicate this script to my partner in crime and proofreader Kizu, who is always pushing me to move forward. So to Kizu, I hope you enjoy. Shirai Shian is a very striking character, one that I have always admired and even envied at times. Like the group she is part of, she is vivid, vibrant, and so memorable. She is a character I hold near and dear to my heart, and in this video, I would like to explain why that is. But before explaining why I love this character so much, we have to understand An herself first. Shirai Shian is the daughter of Shirai Shiken, one of the big three alongside Taika and Nagi that founded Red Weekend. Music was An's way of communicating to people and made connections to everyone in Vivid Street. Vivid Street is defined by the people that inhabit it. Had the people there been all different, Vivid Street would never be the same. Despite being around so many people, the person whom she wanted to see her practice the most, her dad wasn't there because he was the dependable person that Vivid Street relied on. This frustration led to her running away and the one who found her crying alone was Nagi, her role model. Anna adores Nagi and wants to be like her and this is important going forward. When Nagi led her outside, Anne saw a crowd of people so happy to see her safe and they were all searching for her. Seeing this truly cemented Anne's love for the community of Vivid Street. Despite being surrounded by people that loved her, back then Anne didn't have many peers of her age. She was mainly performing on Vivid Street and her childhood friend had moved away to pursue idol activities. Anne knows the importance of close relationships. She knows that Rad Weekend wasn't built by one person. She wants one too. She wants a partner. Someone to sing with. Someone to spend time with. Someone who was on the same level. But that was hard to find. She was trained by the one and only Shirai Shiken after all. Everything changed when Azusawa Kohane appeared. Despite being shy and timid, Kohane's singing voice blew on away to the point that she asked her to become her partner on impulse. So the second chapter of the story begins. Anne showered Kohane with love. She was the one that she was looking for all along. Anne had someone who could depend on her and, like her surname, be a reliable rock for Kohane to lean on with her experience. Despite all this, she may have gone too far with this, as Akito points out that Anne needs to trust Kohane more. Anne apologizes and promises to treat Kohane as equals, as partners should. We move on to Bout for Beside You, where we further see how Anne doesn't really have a lot of experiences with close relationships. Kohane sees massive strides and improvement, but Anne feels… jealous? No, that isn't right. This feeling she calls moya moya, this fuzziness in her heart is from the fear that Kohane would leave her by the time that Anne isn't worth being Kohane's partner anymore. She's scared that she isn't good enough for Kohane anymore, but most importantly of all, she doesn't want to feel lonely again. Akito says that this feeling can't be completely quelled, and she has to keep moving on forward. Kohane makes a promise to not leave Anne and we move on to the present. The story beats that Anne's character follows is the reason why I love her so much, and especially the story of Bout for Beside You. The event on JP was running, I was having my mock exams for the IGCSE. It was a stressful time. I knew what I was good at, but I didn't want to lose to my friend in academics. I wanted to stand by their side, both in studying and as a friend. The trained and untrained card spoke to me. Anne doing her best practicing solo so that she could catch up with Koane. It reminded me of those days where I buried my head in books trying to remember the parts of the digestive system and the train car was how I felt, being trapped by my walls and trying to break free so I could stand beside my classmate. It felt like I had a fence surrounding me and I had to break through no matter what to step up my game. This card means so much to me and it is why this card has to be my favorite Anne card of all time. A second favorite of mine is her Machi card. I vividly remember how my friend from school was saying how Anne is like the sunflower of Vivid Bad Squad and I absolutely agree. She's like the shining stars in her hair, cheering up everyone and encouraging them whenever. Her smile is so bright, I love her so much. Sunflowers symbolize adoration, something that Anne has for Vivid Street. Speaking of the stars, Anne is one of the few people alongside Vivid Bad Squad who want to surpass Rad Weekend seriously. In her first card, she gets transported to a fragment sekai with an environment similar to the old Vivid Street right after Rad Weekend. The reason why Rad Weekend is so legendary was because of how influential it was. Vivid Street was filled with people who wanted to become global artists. It led to more live houses being constructed. But as time flies, Ken retires, Taiga and Nagi go abroad, and the atmosphere starts to die down. That legendary night became so distant that there wasn't anyone who wanted to surpass Rad Weekend anymore as they deemed it to be too far from reality for them. Anne wanted to bring that atmosphere right after Rad Weekend back. 
I look back on this one Instagram post I made on my private account titled How much of a role model Ahn is to me. She was everything I wanted to be back then. Brave, determined, and strong. She's also the hype man of her friend group, which is someone I am trying to be, as I want to show to my friends that I support them wholeheartedly. She is also hardworking, also practicing every day since she was young, while I find myself to be quite lazy at times. As for the present, I think I have reached halfway as I have a semblance of a goal for this channel and have more confidence in myself. I also want to talk about her wedding card. In wishing for your happiness upon the blue sky, Shizuku knows that I want to act more mature. Like her role model, Nagi. I really like how she looks in red. Something we haven't really seen Aunt wear after all. It's actually the opposite of what she usually wears. This may be because the wedding event looks at a side of Aunt without the context of Vivid Bad Squad. Red signifies passion and it's something that Aunt definitely has. The mirror may be her wondering if she has reached the goal of being the fairest of them all. That is, Nagi. Speaking of Nagi, Nagi has such a huge impact over Ahn that she influences the way that she dresses as well as her trained limited hairstyle. People express themselves through the way that they dress and this applies to the way that Project Sekai designs its characters as well. Nagi is Ahn's inspiration and I'm anxious to see what happens to her and how that would affect Ahn as well. The song Awake Now evokes so many feelings in me. It pushes me to try harder when journaling and video making. It's like someone saying, you got this, keep on going. The initials of the song make up Ahn too. As for some technical analysis, let's break down her name and see what it means. Jirai Si An consists of the characters White, Stone, and Apricot. You can derive the three colors from her name. White, Cyan, from Shi An, and Orange from the color of Apricot. Apricot symbolizes hope for the bright future and confidence. And I find that this matches An perfectly. These colors are all very vibrant and can be easily found in her color palette, which is something I like a lot. The orange are from her eyes, and the white and cyan are from her jacket. Chiraishi means white stone, and this can be split into two parts. The white part shows her inexperience with close relationships, but she is also reliable and doesn't give in easily like stone. She is reliable to Vivid Bat Squad as the one with the most experience, but she wants to continue to be reliable like Nagi was to her and the rest of Radder. I want to go back to analyzing her main outfit, since her style and aesthetic is one of the reasons why I was drawn to her in the first place. Like what I said previously, An's main outfit is mainly based on what Nagi wore, as seen by the jacket and how she wears it. It's unzipped, showing how open she is about herself, unlike certain characters. Her jacket has blue on it, coming from the cyan part of her name. It also has green accents, which symbolize freshness and kindness, which matches her kind personality. She also wears green as a child. I love Shirai Shi An so much. She means so much to me as a character, and I hope through this video, you will like her too. I would like to thank Matty, the Vivid server, and of course Kizu. We have a Discord where you can come and discuss. Thank you for watching, and have a good day!